Hey guys, it's Tim. I hope you're all keeping well. We're back in the studio today and I'm going over a couple of new products that have landed on my desk today. It's not something I've really gone over before, but it's all about EV charging, just to follow up on our series of EV charging videos. Now, as you can see here, I've got three EV charging cables from Ring Automotive. They very kindly sent them to us. Um, <clears throat> the reason why we have this, these three is so to try and explain a little bit about the different types of charging cables out there uh, that you can use with your vehicle and your charger depending on the spec of them and what they can support uh, and how fast they can have the charge rate and all this sort of stuff. So these are the three main ones that we're going to be selling on the website. So I thought I'd just go over them and just quickly tell you um, about the different types that they are and how fast they can offer the charging. I'm not going to bore you to death with loads of details and tech specs and stuff like that. Um, I'm just going to quickly open one of them up, talk about the different ones, and uh, hopefully it gives you a bit of information for, so when you buy your charge cable, either from us or from someone else, you're a little bit more educated on how it all works. So, as I said, we've got three from Ring Automotive that they've kindly sent us. They're not the cheapest, but if you know Ring Automotive, they're certainly very high up there in terms of the quality and what they can offer. So I'm just gonna pop these all down just because there's, they're quite heavy and they get in the way. So, um, they are all type two chargers. The reason why we've concentrated on type two is because most modern day EVs are now using type two and most chargers are using type two as well. So that's why we've gone for these three and we've got three different versions. The first two are for single phase and they are this one here and this one here. So one of them is 16 amp and the other one is 32 amp. Uh, but they're single phase and single phase is the electricity that you'd normally get at home um, residential some pretty much most commercial properties have it as well but also some commercial properties and if you've had it installed at home have free phase now this is this one here the most expensive out of all of them but that's because of how quickly it can charge your vehicles so what i'm going to do is got my crib sheet here just so that you can all understand what's going on so the first one is the single phase 16 amp right here. Now what this can do is, it's called the RCC21605, and it's just like a normal conventional charger that you might have got from your main dealer. You plug it into your car, you plug it into your wall, you set it off, and away you go. Now, typically, if you're using one of these cables, single phase, 16 amp, you're looking at around, for a 30 kilowatt battery, eight hours. 60 kilowatt battery, you're looking at 16 hours. And then for a 90 kilowatt battery, you're looking at about 24 hour charge time with one of these. Now, moving on to this one. Uh, this one is called the, two, the RCC23205. Now, you can pretty much, because it's allowing more juice to flow from your charger into your vehicle, um, you're typically looking 30 kilowatt is four hours, um, the 60 kilowatt battery is eight hours, and then the 90 kilowatt battery is 12 hours. So it's quite, um, well, it's, it's half the speed in, in re real terms. And then if you've got a commercial building with a three phase electricity supply and three phase charger and your car can support it, like I said, it's very important that your car and charger can support all of these. Um, it will always support this no matter what, which is a single phase 16 amp. But if it can support a 32 amp, then you may as well, you'd be silly not to use this cable. But if you've got three phase like we have here um, and your car and the charger can support it as well as the 32 amp draw, then again, you'd be silly not to use this one. Now, the reason being is because it's the, the, it's the biggest cable. It's a lot heavier than the rest of them. Um, you can charge a 30 kilowatt battery in an hour and a half, 60 kilowatt battery in three hours. And then the 90 kilowatt battery you can do in four and a half hours. So if you've got a full electric vehicle plugged in with one of these outside and your charger in your car can support that flow rate, then your, your quid's in in terms of the charging time that it will take. It just means more power can flow from your charger into your EV vehicle. Now, all three charge, all three cables, they are, oh, just very quickly, just something that I've remembered. So this 16 amp here, um, is 3.6 kilowatt hours. This one here, which is single phase 32 amp, is um, 7.2 kilowatt hours. And then the three phase 
32 amp is 22 kilowatt hours. So they're, all three of them are type two, all three of them are five meters in length, um, type two at both, both ends, of course. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open one of them up, probably just a single phase, because like I said, they're all the same, it's just how it is and the cable and all that sort of stuff. So we'll move this out of the way. And at least then it gives you an idea. I appreciate it's not the most exciting of videos or products that are out there, but it's certainly a minefield. And obviously, like I said, there's lots of different charge or companies out there that are making these at the moment, but Ring Automotive are really known for their quality, um, for their the product longevity. They last really a long time um, and they just look good they're good products and that's why we decided to go with them because we've been very impressed with them in the past so first up you get a nice little uh, case to keep it in nice and safely I don't really see that many charging cables they're always just tethered or they're just thrown around and this and that um, it's got some velcro at the back so if you've got your carpet and your vehicle in the boot it can just click in there um, zippered and then here it is. I'm not going to unravel it. You get the idea. It's five meters long and you get these two really nice uh, charging cables. Now, because we've had quite a few vehicles here that uh, are either hybrid or electric, the, the one thing that I've noted, especially from like Audi and, and Volkswagen and Volvos especially, the cable quality isn't that great and the plug-in quality isn't that great. They get scuffed up really easily um, and yeah, just not a great they're not, they don't feel aesthetically nice, if you know what I mean. Um, so you've got your dust waterproof caps. They've got an IP rating. I can't remember it, in all honesty, because I don't, like I said, I didn't want to bore you to death with the, the tech specs. Pop them off. And as I said before, type two on both connectors. You've got your bigger one here and you've got your smaller one here. Um, it's obvious which one goes into which hole on your car and your EV charger, so I'm not going to teach you to suck eggs. Um, you know that your car is type two when it's got one of these, your vehicle or your charger is type one when it's got like a little uh, bit that sits up here and that sits on top that you have to then click in and it locks in and it gives an extra, I don't know what it does actually in all honesty, um, but it just, it connects in uh, slightly differently. So if you've got these in your car and your charger, you're type two, if you've got a little bit on the top, you're type one. So, video done. Um, We've gone over the different, the three types of cable that we're charging. I've done a blog that I'll link to in this video. The products are on the website. I think from memory, the um, this one, which is the single phase 16 amp at the time of this video, is 174.99. The 32 amp version of single phase is 199.99, and then the free phase. Uh, one which is 32 amps again, uh, that one is 229.99. So you can, I'll drop the links in the video below. You can click them, we'll ship them out. Like I said, it's an investment into the vehicle as well because if you wanted an additional cable to take with you and leave one at home, um, then this is the perfect solution for you. As always, thanks for watching. We've got more EV electrical vehicle content on the way. Um, so make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and see you soon.